Good morning, everyone. I am Christine Bozlak. I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Health Policy Management and Behavior, and I'd like to allow my colleague Kyle to introduce himself as well. Hi, everybody. My name is Kyle Stewart. I am the executive director of the Alliance of New York State YMCAs. Uh, we represent all of the YMCAs across the state, so we're kind of the statewide entity uh, and national affiliate of uh, YMCA of the USA. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're here to talk to you about our partnership and the work we've been doing over the last five or so years. My areas of expertise are in maternal and child health and childhood obesity prevention. Prior to this, I was working for five years at a children's hospital in Chicago focused on childhood obesity. And I knew the importance of really getting into practice and getting into the community and engaging people in this work. Um, and I should mention also that I co-direct our maternal child health training program here, which is a federally funded program. So you want to speak a little bit about the Alliance? Sure. Um, so the Alliance's work in this area, I mean, you're, you're all very familiar, I'm sure, with the YMCA and some of the work that we do. You know that it's not just the song that you sing at weddings, right? <laughs> or the seventh inning stretch at Yankee Stadium or things like that. But, you know, the Y has a long and pretty rich history in uh, health initiatives, uh, public health work. You know, it started in a number of areas, and so we're really excited to see that progress as, as much as it has. Uh, our priorities as a YMCA are focused on youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. Those are kind of a three buckets. Um, and in the area of healthy living and healthy living initiatives, that's really grown exponentially. Um, and so we're really excited about the future. Great. So here's a little bit about how we got to be partners. Um, actually, I've been affiliated with YMCA since about 2006, 2007, when I volunteered for a community coalition in Illinois. And then when it came time to do my dissertation work and I wanted to work with youth, the YMCA was a natural partner. So I actually conducted my dissertation research with the YMCA. When I arrived here, I was lucky enough that I had uh, come to know a colleague who became the National Chronic Disease Director for the YMCA of the USA. He called me up the day before he was passing through town in Albany and said, I have to give a speech with the Department of Health and I want to introduce you to people because you've only been in Albany for a couple of months. And at that lunch was actually Kyle. Um, and then he told me he asked to have lunch and said, I'm putting together this grant on pioneering healthier communities. I want to tell you about it. I'm going to allow Kyle to say a minute about that. Sure. Um, so you know, one of the greatest things that has helped us with our, my, you know, my friendship with, with Christine is that she's been able to really translate a lot of things for us. I'm just a Y guy, right? So I'm, <laughs> I don't have a lot of initials after my name, right? So, um, so pioneering healthier communities and, and um, bringing in folks like Dr. Bozlak have been really important to us. It was a national initiative. Uh, Fifteen states were uh, granted funds from our YMC of the USA, which was originally our WJF funding. Um, and so what it did was, generally speaking, it brought the YMCA outside of our four walls, as we say. So what are the things that the YMCA can do in policy and research internally um, to really have a positive impact on public health? Uh, and that was the, the main focus of our work. Great. So uh, Kyle, when they received the grant, asked if I would serve on the leadership team, which I was honored to do because I was the only researcher on the leadership team and it was members of his board and other individuals and it, it gave me an opportunity to meet um, leadership from the wise from throughout the state. And it occurred to me, I actually asked him the question, I said, well, we want to make these changes in terms of childhood obesity prevention within the wise and with the wise, but do we even know what they're doing? And it, the answer was no. So we worked together and put together a grant proposal for a FRAP, a faculty research award program here at the university, and we received it so that we could assess statewide YMCA's readiness, willingness, and capacity to engage in childhood obesity prevention, and specifically around breastfeeding promotion, healthy eating and physical activity standards for child care, their child care programs, um, and also healthier vending. Some of you know that I'm very passionate about healthier vending, and I encourage Kyle to be passionate about healthier vending as well. Um, so we conducted this assessment um, and then from also during this time I was teaching the childhood obesity prevention course here and it was nice because we were I was actually able to partner with the capital district YMCA so that the course projects the final projects the students were doing in that course all were relevant to what the capital district YMCA was doing around healthier vending breastfeeding promotion and healthy eating and physical activity um, and then 
after our, our FRAP finished, Kyle uh, and his staff approached me because they actually had obtained funding from New York State to advance the work the Ys are doing within, throughout the state on healthy eating and physical activity within their child care program. So they asked if I would uh, conduct an, an evaluation of that initiative, and that's going on right now. And that I would consider a participatory evaluation because we have co-designed that evaluation. And as Kyle knows, we're communicating almost on a daily basis on data collection right now. So just turning to um, our mutual benefits in this work, uh, I cannot say enough about how much I have valued uh, the partnership that we've had over the last, last several years. The specific benefits to me is the research. Um, I was awarded a frappe. I, I consider we were awarded a frappe. Um, I have a research contract, thanks to Kyle now through the New York State uh, funds. And then this is all preliminary data for hopefully larger studies we can do throughout New York State with the YMCAs. Um, they have asked me to help represent them at two national YMCA conferences with um, some of their staff, and I've been honored to do that, especially since I get to, just get to go. I don't have to present, I just get to absorb. And then at, um, we've also presented our work at two national conferences and one regional conference, including just last week at the American Public Health Association in Atlanta, and that's the poster that was presented on our breastfeeding promotion work within assessing uh, breastfeeding promotion with YMCAs. Uh, he also, a year ago, Kyle asked me to present our work uh, with him before their board. And then we have a manuscript in progress. As I mentioned, it was just phenomenal to collaborate together on a final course project. And then also, I think probably what's most important to me as a scholar is even though I'm in social behavior and community health and I have a PhD in this area, I've come to understand that just because there's a, an organization that you think is pretty, um, it's just, it, they, it's the same organization and it's just situated within you know, the state and they probably are all operating the same way. What I've realized and what Kyle has taught me too is if you've seen one why, you've seen one why. You really have to dig in and get to know all of them. And I think it's the same for our SUNY campuses too. If you've seen one SUNY campus, you've seen one SUNY campus. And so that's been such a great lesson to me and I hope to always you know, translate that to my students. And speaking of students, I think there are many benefits of our work to the School of Public Health and to UAlbany as a whole. Certainly, I try to weave this work through research, teaching, and service, but we funded three students through these grants and through this contract that we have right now, two graduate research assistants, including one outside the School of Public Health who was an occupational psychology major or a master's student. And right now, we, we have one MPH intern working with us, um, Shay Kelly, the president of our GSO. And then also, as I mentioned, the course practical final projects, guest lectures. And when Kyle had the opportunity to hire a staff member, he called me and said, Christine, who do you recommend? And he hired that person and that, uh, for a full-time position. So thank you for that, Kyle. And then this is, uh, we got a quote from one of our students, Shay Kelly. And what she says is having the opportunity to work with Christine in the YMCA has been a great experience so far. I've been able to learn more about academic research, a great community organization, and how the two can collaborate. The school fills in a research gap that the Y Foundation is missing so they can gather real information that can cultivate change. It is important for the university to have connections with such a large and historical community public health initiative. So thank you to Shay for that comment. I know she was previously here. So we'll end with Kyle and his final remarks about how the partnership um, has benefited him. Sure, thank you. Um, so I would just echo our appreciation and um, how happy we are with the collaboration and the partnership of, that we have with Dr. Bozlak and the School of Public Health. Uh, it's, it's been so critical for us as a statewide entity and as a statewide movement to help guide where those, all of those whys that is as you heard earlier, each one is very different. Each one is governed um, on its own. And so it's very much helped us sort of guide the direction of where the movement is going um, and where uh, the work of public health in general is going. And so while YMCAs have been running a lot of programs for a number of years, we always thought and always knew exercise was a benefit and exercise was good and healthy eating had positive outcomes with public health, et cetera. Um, now we're taking all of that work that we were doing, using the research and the data, the technical assistance, everything that you see here, um, and translating that into a program and programs across the state that are much more consistent. 
uh, based on consistency and efficacy and, and, and all of the data and things that are, that are important um, as we move forward. So that translation and that work that you see here and, and uh, the partnerships that we've had thus far have been really invaluable to us and helped, helped us move things forward. Not the least of which um, really turned into some public funding for the YMCAs uh, from the state of New York that um, are now being granted out to local YMCAs to implement the healthy eating and physical activity curriculum um, in our after school programs. Uh, YMCAs collectively are the largest provider of after school programs so we thought this is the way that we can complement all the good work that's happening. So um, that, that clearly is, uh, is our focus and, and uh, where, we, where we're really happy with the work that's being done and can only see much more to come. So thank you. Thank you.